Yeah, hi folks. So now it's time to show you my finished uh, uh, face hugger. I know it is very, very long. You know, because of the tail, you know, and I bended it so it otherwise it would be just straight. See from the top, you know, have it a little bit of a curve. You know, because um, this plastic was molded straight, you know, and um, you can heat treat it and bend it a little, but you can't overdo it. Otherwise, uh, it won't get a nick and all that. It, it's, I, I think I reached the maximum with that, you know. Um, because if you want to bend it here, you know, uh, this gets all, uh, you know, buckled up and this gets stretched and it might tear even even with heat treated and it will be totally deform, you know, uh, the segments in here. So, um, yeah, I think I reached the maximum with that. I have a little bit of a curve here seeing from top and of course uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of the curve here now in my first video i said i'm not a big fan of that uh, uh, asian uh, sheep model kits you know you you get what you pay for you know i think the the glue that keeps that type of plastic together you know uh, has yet to be de developed you know and I used a lot of hot glue on that you know this is a very weak point you know it can come loose and the whole attachment here you know no here it is you know it is a little bit wobbly so as you can see here not that great so uh, I will do a, a you know, um, and kind of a cutaway section from a, a floor type of thing and bolt it on here and bolt it on here so I can hang this piece on a wall, you know, to have a wall display. Um, yeah, but that's basically it, you know. Um, now I get a little bit into the details. I said I want to have a, a much much uh, deeper wash, you know, and that's what I finally came up with. This isn't airbrushed. This this is just a uh, a work with a pencil. And here we have this big groove. This is a big blob of hot glue because as I got that model kit, you know, this was one section and this was one section and. This was so deformed, I had to heat treat it, both parts, and force them uh, so they uh, uh, go together, you know, as close as possible, you know, but it it's never going to work. So I had, even when I had it as perfect as possible, um, there still was some gaps and I had to fill them in with hot glue, you know. Uh, like I said, this was a sheep Taiwan kit, you know, kind of a mock-up, I don't know. It was 11 euros, uh, and I said, okay, for that price you can't go wrong, you know, not to mention a couple of hundred euros for a Halcyon model kit, which has become pretty rare since this was from for Alien 3. Uh, which was from the early 90s, so uh, But if you would have uh, But if you get such a model kit you I think you don't run into that problems like I did but anyway I Was able to put it together more or less <laughs> and now it's all about the paint go or go over the legs I know it's a lot darker of what it used to be in the movie but if I would have painted just like in the movie you know um, you uh, I, uh, you can't see 
color wise you know all the details i did it darker to enhance all those little crevices and details and having in mind um, remaining the originality here so it is a lot of personal preferences influenced at as well you know i kept for example like i said before you know those highlights here um and I imagined by uh, try and error that um, I wiped off with the base coat. I wiped off uh, the color to uh, to extend uh, to uh, to um, to to reveal uh, the white base coat underneath that brownish tan base coat for the final color. You know, so the uh, so the bones can shine through. Now it looks more like if I would went over it with some light colors to highlight it. You know, but it it happens because I wiped off. You know, the brownish color. You know, the effect is the same, and it it really looks good. You know. I did the same with wiping off. Uh, autofocus yes um, uh, as I did uh, the wash of brown dark brown over it and then I wiped it off I accidentally wiped off a lot of that high stuff here the, uh, to reveal more of the white underneath it and it totally did the trick here and this here is very brighter again you know I said there yeah, is no right and wrong and making and working with washes and dry brush you know most of that stuff happens happened accidentally and it accidentally looked good <laughs> so um, don't be afraid of working with that and this is my final you know uh, final stuff with uh, as I try to get it in focus yes this is my final around it looks green on camera and it is kind of a green but I never mixed in green you know I it it is yellow but because of the rest of uh, uh, the colors blending in uh, it looks greenish it looks not that greenish in person, you know, the camera enhances it, but uh, I swear there is no actual green in it. It just looks green to your eyes uh, because of the contrast of that uh, uh, beige or tan color, you know, so it's, it's great. And here we see that the tail is coming apart. I have to put some rods in it, you know, uh, wooden rods, so it has more to, uh, so the uh, hot glue has more to grip. Yeah, but I don't want to play around anyway. This is going to be on the stand. And now my camera goes out of focus. Yeah, having that big, big vagina, the camera always goes out of the focus. Ah, now we have it again. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, basically it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my... Uh, my final work on the face hugger hope you like it and yeah see you soon bye